Hello there, welcome to this month's HubSpot Tip of the Month and uh, we are focusing on the integration of HubSpot and Xero. So very exciting, we get a lot of uh, our customers and prospects and HubSpot users reaching out to us with questions about how you get HubSpot to talk to Xero and I'll take you through a few different options that you can use out of the box and some customized options as well. So what we've got here at the moment is a deal which is sitting in our demo system uh, where we have essentially a sales deal where we are selling a HubSpot starter implementation. Okay, so on the right hand side here we've got, uh, I've generated a deal with some line items. Uh, there's a quote that we've built and um, this out of the box solution, and I'll show you how it works in a sec. Uh, we've then got an invoice which was generated in HubSpot, uh, so in uh, in Zero. And if I jump into Zero, so it's invoice zero 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 one. Uh, if we jump to this section of Zero, you can see there is the invoice itself. And um, if I refresh this screen. Uh, it'll show that it's being paid as well. Now if I jump back into HubSpot, so I'm just going to refresh uh, this screen and HubSpot will tell us if we jump to the relevant section that it has been paid as well. Okay, so I'm just waiting for HubSpot and Zero to talk to each other just to show that it has been paid from Zero. So let's jump into the back end and I'll show how all of this works. So the first section that we're going to want to focus on is our chart of accounts. So those of you, uh, you may, you, maybe your accountant has set up your chart of accounts. Maybe you set them up yourself by clicking a few buttons in zero, but essentially our chart of accounts uh, from the section that we are focusing on is the area where we get to see a breakdown of our products and services and how much revenue we're generating on each of those products and services and eventually we want to look at profitability, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so jumping to uh, zero, you can actually access from accounting chart of accounts. And what we have done with this uh, Zero a demo system is that we've created uh, three uh, entries in our chart of accounts. So we've got consulting, training, and implementation. Okay. And um, the next section, once we've done the set up our chart of accounts to be able to categorize our products and services, is we jump into a Zero and um, under business you can actually select products and services and what I've done here is built up some uh, individual services that we have on offer. If you want to know how that works essentially click on new item, um, enter the details for that item so you've got an SKU or a code, uh, the name of it, uh, if it's physical then you probably want to track inventory. If you are purchasing uh, that service, then you want to have the purchase set on, uh, switched on. Uh, but for us, as a primarily a service-based industry, we typically have sell switched on. Uh, you are entering the chart of accounts uh, entry in here. So say we've got, as an example, so I'm just going to go CRM 006 and HubSpot Enterprise Implementation sale price, so I'm just going to put a figure out there, 35k, and um, so it's CRM implementation is where the once the once the money has been paid, uh, it'll go into this categorization in zero, and uh, we've got GST switched on because as an Australian company we have uh, goods and services tax. So click on save, and then we've got this HubSpot implement, implement HubSpot enterprise implementation sitting there as well. So that's great. Uh, that's the zero side of things. What we need to do now is get these into HubSpot. So I'm just going to pause for a second and then we'll jump into HubSpot and I'll show you how we've set that up. Okay, so I'm back in HubSpot. If you have a professional or above version, you will see these products in your system. And the way you enter that is go to the HubSpot settings, 
and then down here on the left hand side data management uh, objects and then products and what you'll see is we've got some of these products sitting here already and um, I could have just gone ahead and clicked on create product and manually created those but uh, I've actually used the first thing that I want to show off for you which is the HubSpot, uh, inbuilt HubSpot and Zero connector. So if I go back again into my settings in HubSpot, click on integrations and then connected apps. Uh, you'll see we've got quite a few in here because it is our demo system and we're always adding and removing items but essentially we've got these two uh, Zero items here. So, uh, unfortunately, they've <laughs> they've named them exactly the same. So sometimes you just got to guess which one's which. I think it's this one. So I'll just check. Okay, it's this one over here. Uh, so essentially, I click on that, and uh, I have the ability for uh, Zero and HubSpot to sync with each other. Now, if you're wondering where this comes from, um, I'll just open up in the marketplace and I'll show you the, s the steps of how you get those to sync to each other. Okay, so I'm back in the connected apps. I click on visit marketplace and I type in zero and we get two different items for zero. So this one here, the data sync, that's the one I'm interested in. So click on that one. Uh, then essentially what this does, it'll allow you to sync your contacts, your products and your invoices between Zero and HubSpot. So it doesn't allow you to generate invoices, it just allows you to sync information. Okay, and there's the summary just down here as well. So if I click on install app at the top here, uh, click to connect it to Zero. So I'm already logged into Zero, so sometimes I'll actually ask you to log in. Okay, there we are, there's my demo system. Click allow access. And now I'm going to set up sync. And what we can do here is select different items that we want to sync across. So I'm going to select the uh, product sync firstly. We can come back and set up the uh, sync for the other items as well. So that's the company that I'm syncing the information from. So the zero company. Click done. Okay, and essentially what we're saying here is that we can actually we can get the two systems to talk back to each other. So what I mean by that is uh, we could either set up zero as like the master HubSpot as the master, or we can just get them to to talk to each other. So as an example, I could set up that. Uh, we sync from zero to HubSpot and then from there on in it's edited within HubSpot so people don't have to keep jumping into zero to update products or we could strictly say look uh, data syncs only to HubSpot which means that that uh, zero is the source of truth um, but you get the idea here. So I am going to set it up so zero is the source of truth we can map additional fields from zero across to HubSpot if we want as well and I'm just going to select next. Uh, we can limit it to a specific set of products if we want as well. And I'm just going to go through the process here, save and a sync. And it's now going to sync our products from zero back across to HubSpot. Okay, so we'll jump back into it. So we'll see here that six products have synced across. So if we click on there, it'll actually tell us which ones sync across. So this is the new one that we just added. And if I refresh this screen, you'll see that all the new products, that new HubSpot Enterprise product is sitting there, which is fantastic. Um, and essentially what we can do once the products are in the system is that we can then start generating deals and add those products. And uh, as you normally would, any any other deal so it's either uh, you click on edit you add a line item and once again if you've got professional or above so I might click the HubSpot in enterprise integration and then I go through the steps of of setting it up for the deal okay so the next se section that I'm going to show you is the section that allows HubSpot to generate invoices in zero so if we return back to our 
connected apps, uh, you'll see I've got this other one, uh, it's this one here. That's the other Zero app, and that allows me to uh, generate invoices from Zero. So I'm just going to remove that and I'll re add it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I'm back at the uh, app marketplace. Uh, that's the one we installed previously. This is the one that we want this time. So I'm just going to click on that just so you can see what it's got. And you'll notice we've got this create invoices inside HubSpot CRM. I'm going to install that one. Okay, now when you're in this step, uh, Zero may prompt you to say, hey, you have to switch on. Uh, it's a $10 Australian per month subscription to allow HubSpot and uh, to HubSpot to generate invoices uh, from from HubSpot. So just be aware there might be an extra step there. But essentially, once you've integrated it, um, you can then go back to your sales deals, and you you can then start generating invoices off the cuff. Okay, so I'll just uh, refresh that screen. Okay, actually just before I do that, I'll show you this section as well. So what we can do is we can categorize all of our contacts as well. So we can categorize into people that have purchased, people that have paid, uh, any people with outstanding invoices and out people with overdue invoices as well. So I'm just gonna click on update and then it will start talking to my HubSpot. Okay, so uh, the invoice has been generated. Now, uh, I will say that at the moment, this is not syncing, so that'd be um, something that would uh, need, would need to reach out to their support team just to find out what's going on there. Uh, but essentially, you can generate an invoice straight from uh, from Zero, uh, from HubSpot into Xero. Um, and I'll just backtrack, and I've got screens all over the place at the moment, but that is the... Uh, the invoicing option, so $10 per month if you're an Australian customer. And then if we jump back to the section here, so I've updated that as paid. And just to show you how it ends up going back into the system, is if I refresh this chart of accounts, we'll see that we've now got revenue appearing under this line item in our chart of accounts as well. So that's sort of from where to go. Um, now, some of the other options that we've got for HubSpot Zero integration, uh, I've just gone back to the marketplace, so we've, I've typed in uh, Zero. So, a couple of options that we have used in the past, definitely this one here is um, uh, quite, quite some, uh, it's got a lot of features in it. So, one of the things you can do once you upgrade to the professional version of this one, is you can actually set it up so there's a level of um, automation as well. Um, so that's that's quite handy, especially if you've got like a professional level of HubSpot uh, and the professional level of like the, the customized level of this system as well. You can set up trigger points in your sales stages so that it automatically generates a draft invoice as well. And I believe uh, when I was speaking to the owner recently, I believe you can actually set them up potentially. Uh, so you've got recurring invoices, uh, multiple stages. So this you can actually do a fair bit with that as well. Now, the third option, which I promised you, actually just before I do that, uh, this one here, Invoice Stack, um, they have a similar approach. Um, they, however, uh, what the, the the automatic generation of invoices is currently in a beta stage. So keep an eye out for this solution as well. The, th the other solution that I will mention is a custom solution using APIs. So that means that someone like ourselves would jump into um, your system, look at your specific needs, and then code something so that when something happens in HubSpot, then it triggers some code, which then ends up generating a specific invoice in Zero. So especially if you've got more complex requirements, um, that's definitely an option 
as well. So look, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. I know there's going to be a lot of questions generated from this as well, so we'll keep tracking on that. Um, but that is our longer HubSpot tip of the month, uh, looking at how to integrate HubSpot and Zero. Thank you for watching.